Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing a talk get ready with me video, so let's just get started. I do want to tell you guys something. If it looks like I have a beard or something, I actually waxed my lip. I don't know if that's too much information or something, but like I wax my lip because it gets like little peach fuzz and stuff and that ain't cute for your makeup because then it just looks funky. And um, I actually like double layered the um not double layered but I waxed it and then I waxed it again and then now it's kind of not scarring over but it has um like it kind of bleeded it a little bit so it's kind of like what is it called like a, a scab so it's kind of like scabbing over and stuff right now so I've just been putting um like lotion on it and trying not to let it really scar my face because I don't want to have that scar there but you know it is what it is really I can hide it with makeup so I'm not gonna cry about it but I do want to cry about it sometimes um so this actually just happened about two days ago so it's kind of fresh so I've just been layering lotion so if that happens to you guys layer lotion so let's just get started I'm gonna take my elf and then I'll use primer I take a half a pump of that and I'm just going to put this all over my face And honestly, like, when I was waxing my lip, it did not hurt whatsoever because I've waxed my lip before. But I don't know why this time my face just decided to freak out. And so now it just feels disgusting and it's kind of scarring and crop and it's just not cute. So I really hope it doesn't scar because no one wants to have a scar like that. Um, the next thing I'm going to take is my e.l.f. Um, Cover Everything Concealer, and it looks like this. It's the $2 one, and this is a medium. They only have three shades, and this medium shade is a little bit darker than I am, but it'll work. And I'm just going to pat this over my um, scarring and the kind of, uh, what is it called? I always forget what it's called. Um, kind of when it, you know, is done bleeding and stuff, it causes a you know what I'm talking about. I just always forget what it's called. So I'm just going to pat this on where I have lots of problems. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger because it's super creamy and it's kind of a medium coverage concealer. It's so creamy it's ridiculous. And I'm going to kind of put this up around my nostril area because it's super red right there going to be taking my new one of my new favorite foundations right now and this is the covergirl ready set gorgeous foundation in 120 and i'm just going to pat well i'm just going to try a different way i'm just going to kind of squirt it out of the bottle onto my face oh that's a bad idea because it just got all over my shirt today has not been my day guys that's not good i have to take off the shirt after i'm done and go wash it So I'm about to leave for vacation and I'm actually super excited because I've never been to South Dakota. Um, I'll be in Mount Rushmore on the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th of June. So I don't know when I'll have this edited. It'll probably be sometime in July to tell you guys the truth because I already have all my videos scheduled for when I'm on vacation. So it's going to be a very late get ready with me. And I'm just going to pat this in with my Sigma F80. And I have found that this brush just gives me more of a coverage when I pat it, um, the, like, the foundation into my skin more than swiping it. I know it's super light for me, but the shades literally go from 120 to 205, and 205 was too dark for me, so um, you just have to work with what is given to you. And I'll just bronzen it up. So I got my hair cut, which you guys probably can't tell, but I have bangs and that's why they're pulled back because I hate them. I feel like I look like a little girl, so no more bangs for me because I'm going to be 18 and I just don't like them. I feel like I look like a little girl. And I'm, I'm almost 18. I don't know if I said I'm 18 or not 18, guys. I'm almost 18 in, like, less than a year, so I don't want to be having bangs anymore. And I thought, well, they're not bangs, they're side sweat bangs, and I thought maybe I'd like them again, and I just don't. So, it's kind of a problem, but not really, you know? Oh, and I got my eyebrows done date, uh, my eyebrows done today, and I super duper, super duper love them, so. Yes, I will be filling them in today, because when you have, like, a very fresh 
like a wax with your eyebrows it just looks amazing um I'm going to be taking a concealer. I'll be taking my um, Glamouflage concealer and I'll be putting this under my eyes. What I'm taking is my Wet n Wild Natural Blend Press Powder and I'm going to be putting this on with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of sweep all this on my temples and it's super hot today, so I'm going to get really oily. I can already tell you guys that. So I'm just setting it all over my face. And I'm focusing a lot on my chin, my nose, and my forehead. And I don't know if you guys can see, but since this is kind of scabbing over, that's what it's called, scabbing over. It's kind of getting like the dry skin look on my upper lip. So please just excuse that, guys. Um because I know you guys will be able to see it once I zoom in and stuff so I just wanted to forewarn you guys that it's not a pretty sight right now Rimmel um, it's an eyebrow pencil by Rimmel love it to pieces and I'm just going to fill in these bad boys and I super duper love the shape once they're done like oh gosh I just love them Okay, now that I filled in my brows just a little bit, I'm going to comb them back out because I like to give it an extra sweep once they're all done. Just make sure that my eyebrows are blended out and nothing looks harsh. Like, I made a mistake right there, so I'll just rub it out because it's really easy to rub out, to be honest. Um, the next thing I'm going to take, I'm going to try to finish this up today because... There's not much left and I already bought a new one so I don't want to keep this around any longer because it's just to the point where it's on its last leg. And this is the e.l.f. eyelid primer, I don't know if I told you guys. So the next thing I'm taking is this G, G, um, it's two G's like this, a small G and a big G and this is called She Shells, it's just a kind of tan matte brown color and I'm just going to put this in my um, crease so it gives me something to blend out um, like a transitional shade so I have to tell you guys something and I don't know if this is a personal thing again I shouldn't be talking about but I'm going to because you guys are my friends and I tell my friends everything so I'm telling you guys everything um, I waxed my armpits and the waxing strips I use from Sally Hansen like they're good for like small areas but for big areas like that they're not good so Half of my armpits are waxed, then there's a strand of hairs all over, and my armpits got so burnt by the wax that, like, it's not hot wax, it's just strips that you pull apart and you wax it, and no, like, it's just, like, you warm them up in your hands, and, um, I burnt my armpits so bad because I wax, like, the same spot more than once because I'm trying to get the hair out, you know, and my armpits have never been in so much pain like I've had five surgeries four or five surgeries I can't remember um, I think it's like five and I have never felt this much pain even after I got out of surgeries a couple days later this pain is so unbearable I do not recommend um, like waxing your armpits whatsoever because everybody's like oh you know on YouTube wax your armpits like I've seen so many videos like that so I was like curious so I tried it obviously because whatever YouTube says like you have to do it's just one of them things you know so I tried it and it's the most painfulest thing like I messed up big time it's so painful I don't recommend it whatsoever it sucks ass like it hurts don't recommend it whatsoever so I'm forewarning you guys now don't do it it's painful this palette that I've never used it's called silent treatment by wet and wild and the reason why I've never used this is because it broke but I actually fixed this with a rubbing alcohol so I'll be taking this light pinky shade and I'll be working this into the first half of my eye and I'm going to work on the outer half of my lid is the bottom one and it's kind of a purpley great color and I'm going to take the next shade which is this um, dark kind of blacky brown color it has little bits of um, kind of a goldery coppery color like little specks of sparkle I'm going to work this on the outer half of the eye kind of make a V with it
I'm going to take my Sigma um, E45 small taper brush. I'm going to blend this out. I'm going to take that matte brown again and I'm going to work some of this um, not onto that brush, onto my Real Techniques. I'm not really for sure what brush this is. Oh, it says right here, um, Deluxe Crease Brush, and I'm just going to kind of layer that on. I really like how this layers with other shadows. Um, I've been using this ever since I've got it, and my friend from Canada sent it to me, and I love it to pieces. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to smoke out my lash line. And I'm just taking that darker color that the rest of stuff that's on this brush and smoking it out with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes. I'm not going to put any fake eyelashes on today. I'm just really not in the mood to deal with them because I'm not like a pro at putting them on or anything. And I'm taking my Rivalon eyelash curler. I am going to take my Makeup Forever, um, Makeup for Forever, but can't talk. Makeup Forever mascara, the one that you get from Sephora for your birthday. Next thing I'm going to take is my New York Color um, bronzer, and I'm going to bronze my face. The next thing I'm going to take is my Bronjewear Bronzing Freeze Powder, and I'm going to contour with this. Okay, now that I contoured, I'm just going to take whatever is left and put it under my lip. And the next thing I'm going to take is my Physician's Formula Blushing Roses um, blush, and I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. And the very last thing I'm going to take is my Healthy Glow Bronzing Face Powder um, by e.l.f., and I'm going to put this on top of my cheekbones. I never usually highlight, but I am today. And the very last thing I'm going to take is a lipstick. And I'm going to take this one by Revlon, and it's called Sweet Tart. And it's this color, and I'm going to put this on. to take this Stila lip glaze and this is in bubble gum and I'm going to put this on top of it. These Stila lip glazes are so worth the money. They're literally amazing and I love them to pieces. Um, the same exact dupe though I think everybody knows is the e.l.f. Um, ones just like this and they're a dollar and these ones are like $23. So there's a big difference. So this is the whole overall look. And I will zoom in so you guys can see it. And look at them brows. Oh, yes. Please, Lord. Um, so this is the whole overall look. If you're new, please take a moment to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Peace.